packed in. It looks like an old corneal, or sorry, retinal tear. Um, but it's, it's pretty chronic. <laughs> We monitor owls at a site in Otay Mesa, and that site did not receive adequate vegetation management last year with all the rain, so we had a, a massive overgrowth of vegetation. And we didn't have very many nests there, where, which is a site we usually have a lot of nests at. We had two situations, two different nests, where one parent disappeared. Burrowing owls, they're not very able to fledge young if they don't have both parents present. They really need to have both parents. We decided that it would be in the best interest of the, the chicks at each of those burrows to um, to come into into human care and then get head started where they would be raised until they're adults and then they could be released and contribute to the longer term conservation of their species. And it's really great when we are able to successfully make a decision like that and then work with our really valued partners to make these, these things happen and make them successful. So it's, it feels really good to get these guys out today.